my very good sons and daughters, let me uh, tell you that I value what you do. I have heard what you have said. I have seen what you have done. And you have made recommendations. Some I will outright implement on cutting down on government lodges and cutting down on uh, offices that uh, we can. I will deal with some of the issues that you have raised. You have given me some difficult choices. I will suggest to you how uh, we can together go about the difficult choices that you have put on the table on some of the issues. But I want to promise you that uh, in the engagement that we're going to have, God willing, in the next uh, couple of days, I think we've agreed with some of uh, uh, your colleagues here that maybe Thursday, Friday, I will uh, be thoroughly clear and I want you to be equally clear on what you think, the suggestions you have on how to take our country forward. My request to you is that we have a country to keep. It's the only home we have. We must do whatever it is that we do within the parameters of the law, respecting one another and talking to each other with respect so that we can move forward together as a country. I am looking forward to this engagement in the space that you will uh, recommend. I'm told X is the space that you want us to engage. And I have uh, committed that uh, I will find myself into that space. I will ask one of you guys uh, in that space to host us so that we can have uh, this conversation as I do what I must do to get the country moving forward. All these MPs, they are elected by us, the people of Kenya. And there is, you all admit, there is a lot of money spent in electing people. That, that's, that's the real challenge that we have. So people are not elected largely on account of what, what it is that uh, they, they, they will do. People are elected because they are well resourced, you know? And unfortunately, this is the product we end up with, you know? This, this is the product uh, we end up with. So this is something we must interrogate together. We must all agree because we, are, we get the leaders we elect, right? So these are the people, uh, I, did, I, did not, I did not elect all these uh, members of parliament or uh, the, the other people. Maybe the ones I have appointed, those ones I can take account, you know, and deal with. And, and we should, because even in my own eyes, it is not right. People, you know, flaunting money, you know, people using the space in pulpits to, you know, prosecute politics. And, and, and all that is, is fine. And that is why I'm very happy with this moment, that we are all of us going to face up to this reality and call ourselves to order and do that which we must do. And uh, the conversation that was around here, I met the church, some of the church leaders, I met uh, even my own PG, and even them, they were saying, yes, let us abolish Harambes. Yes, let's do something about uh, our situation. We must live within our means. So it is a very healthy conversation, and I am... Over the last two weeks, I have kept sometimes late into the night thinking about the young people of our nation. Because I am one person who did not get a job until I was elected as a member of parliament. And I know what it means not to have a job, not to have an income. And that is why 
I am willing to put my career on the line to see to it that to the extent that I can, young people have an income.